Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 26th of December, the Feast of Saints Stephen, Deacon, and Martyr from, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce this, F-U-L-G-E-N-T-I-U-S of Rome, 468-533. Yesterday, we celebrated the birth in time of our eternal king. Today, we celebrate the triumphant suffering of his soldier. Yesterday, our king, clothed in his robe of flesh, left his place in the virgin's womb and graciously visited the world. Today, his soldier leaves the tabernacle of his body and goes triumphantly to heaven. Our king, despite his exalted majesty, came in humility for our sake. Yet he did not come empty-handed. He brought his soldiers a great gift that not only enriched them, but also made them unconquerable in battle. For it was his gift of love which was to bring men to share in his divinity. He gave of his bounty, yet without any loss to himself, in a marvelous way. He changed into wealth the poverty of his faithful followers while remaining in full possession of his own inexhaustible riches. Love, indeed, is the source of all good things. It is an impregnable defense and the way that leads to heaven. He who walks in love can neither go astray nor be afraid. Love guides him, protects him, and brings him to his journeys. And my brothers, Christ made love the stairway that would enable all Christians to climb to heaven. Hold fast to it, therefore, in all sincerity. Give one another practical proof of it, and by your progress in it, make your ascent together. The prayer, Catherine of Siena, 1347-1380. You are calling me to come to you, and I am coming to you, not with any merits of my own, but only with your mercy. I'm begging you for this mercy in virtue of your son's most sweet blood. Father, into your hands I surrender my soul and my spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas. <laughs>